To start, we're gonna use our filter to create the kick drum. Turn up your ADSR about three quarters of the way up, give it a little bit of decay and a lot of release. I have my frequency set to a little bit above 100, fine tuned to zero, and resonance about three quarters of the way up. Then plug the output of the voltage control filter into switch A of the electronic switch. Next, we have to create a hi-hat. In order to do that, we're gonna take our noise generator, set it to white noise, and uh, put your level a little bit below half. Once the noise generator is set, turn up the noise into oscillator three. Make sure that's set to audio range. I have the frequency all the way up and the fine tune all the way up. Pulse is at around 50. Then patch the sawtooth wave to two places. One is gonna be input four of the voltage processor, and two is the sample and hold. So this creates the musical pattern for the bass line, and it also creates our hi-hat. So oscillator three is making our hi-hat sound. We're gonna to go to input four on the voltage processor and out of the first voltage processor into input B of the voltage controlled switch. So essentially we're taking the voltage processor and instead of processing voltage, we're turning it into a mixer. This is just for hi-hat volume. The electronic switch now has a kick drum and a hi-hat in it. The rate of the sample and hold is controlling the switch between the two sounds. And we're routing that sound from C of the electronic switch to the mixer input. The higher keyboard sound is coming from the ring modulator. Both faders are on maximum. I've set it to DC. Turn up the sample and hold about three quarters of the way on oscillator one. For oscillator two, we're gonna route the output of the sample and hold into a voltage processor and invert it before we go into oscillator two. Output of the sample and hold into input six of the voltage processor. We're gonna invert that fully. Then we're gonna go out of the voltage processor into oscillator two. And then turn up oscillator two sample and hold all the way. Using a tip top stackable cable, we're gonna go out of the sample and hold and go directly into the CV input of oscillator two as well. For bass, we're gonna take the output of the square wave of oscillator two and go into the lag processor. We're gonna go out of the lag processor into the VCA. The reason we're going into the lag processor is because a lag processor is also a 6 dB low pass filter. And for this sound, I thought that was a little too raspy, so I wanted to cut it back a bit. As you can see, the ring mod, our keyboard sound is already routed into the VCA. I have that turned up a little bit. And then our AR is also controlling the overall volume of our music. Pressing the manual start of the envelope interrupts the gate and gives you kind of a breakdown. 